Hi, this is Duke Williams again, and thanks for taking a few moments to learn how to use our new features in Policy Profiles. We've changed Policy Profiles so you can make it your primary space to work instead of workspace. You can now create new forms and files from Policy Profiles. You can also move and associate existing forms and files from workspace into Profiles so you can work with your customer primarily through their Policy Profile information. To see how this works, let's go to your Client Profile select a client from the client list. Their profile information appears at the bottom of the list. From the tab in their profile information, select policies. That will show you a list of all of their policies. So you select the policy whose files you want to look at and it takes you to a new screen showing you all of the files for that policy. You'll notice that all of the tabs for the functions that you can do in Workspace on a file are also available here. So tags, descriptions, email, upload, you can do all of those from within the file system in the customer policy profile. Here's how to create a new file from within the policy profile system. So you go up to the Create New tab and it brings up the same tree that you're used to seeing in Workspace. Things here work exactly the same as in Workspace. So you click on the folder the forms in or you use the Find or the Knowledge Base. Uh, those are all separate videos. You bring the one that you want to work with over, or the combination of ones. You'll notice that the agent's profile is already pre-filled because that's you and it's your customer. And the insurer's profile, the client's profile, is also done. And click Open, and the form opens, and you're ready to work with it. So we'll go ahead and we'll put in a date. Uh, and just to make things simple, we'll go ahead and click on Submit. When you submit a form, you asked to choose a folder that it goes into. So not only is it storing it in the policy pr client profile, but it's also storing it under the folder you choose in Workspace. And this again is just like you're used to in Workspace. You put in the name, you can add tags and descriptions and notes if you would like to, and you click Save, and now the form is going to be in both places. You've given the same options as you had before. You can go back to work as a form, you can go to the folder, or if you go up to the top, you can um, go back to the policies that you were working on. That's what we're going to choose to do here. So we go back to our policies and we select the policy that we were working on again and here's the new file that we just added in our policy file space. So of course it's also in the folder in Workspace. If you've already been building files in Workspace you'll want to be able to pull those files over and associate them with a specific policy profile. To do this, you select the policy you want to add files to. You click the tab that says Add Existing, and it will display the folders in your workspace. And you open the folder that you want to, and you double click on the files that you want to associate, and they move from the left hand box over into the right hand box, which is where you're putting the folders or files that you're going to um, add to that policy. You can add from as many folders as you want to, and just because you've associated files with this doesn't mean you can't associate them with other people also. So now we'll go back and look at our policy, uh, the files in our policy under Policy Profile. Go back and select the policy that we want to look at, and there are the files that we've added into it. That's how easy it is to add existing files into your Policy Files space. Well, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can call Nell, Calvin, or myself, email us, or visit us on our website. 